Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make your own squid. This is a no sew pattern which means you're not going to have to sew any pieces on and it works up really quickly. So without further ado let's get into it. So before we begin, let's gather our supplies. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to be using this um, Honey Bunny Shine yarn. It does have a bit of a sparkle to it, so it's really, really pretty. And it is a size 6 bulky yarn. To pair with that, I'm going to be using my 55 millimeter crochet hook. We're also going to need a pair of scissors, a stitch marker or a scrap piece of yarn, some fiber fill, about 12 to 16 inches of uh, medium weight yarn. It doesn't have to be black, just any color will do. And some safety eyes. The stitches that you're going to need to know to complete this pattern is a magic ring, a slip stitch, a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, and a treble crochet or a triple crochet. So, once we have all of our supplies collected, we can get into it. So we're going to start with the body. And to begin row one, we're going to make a magic ring. And we're going to make eight single crochets within the magic ring. So one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, like that, and we're just going to pull this tight. And there is row one. Now I like to use a scrap piece of yarn as my stitch marker. Um, I just find it easier, so I just place it right in front of my just last stitch there, and then we can move on to row two. Now for row two, we're going to place an increased stitch in each stitch around. An increased stitch is two single crochets in one stitch. So I'm going to place one single crochet in this first stitch here, and then I'm going to place one more right back into that same stitch. So we're going to do an increase on every stitch around, so at the end of this row we should have 16 stitches. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, just like that. Now moving on to row three, we're going to do the combination single crochet increase in the next stitch. So single crochet in the first and then an increase. And we're going to repeat this eight times for a stitch count of 24 at the end of this row. And there is row three. Now for row four, we're just going to place one single crochet in each stitch around for 24 stitches. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, again, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 
19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Now row five, we're going to do the combination single crochet two and an increased stitch. We're going to repeat that eight times again for a total stitch count of 32. So two single crochets and an increase. two single crochets and an increase. So just finish row five and I'll meet you back here for row six. All right, and there is row five completed. So moving on to row six, for row six through 11, so six rows, we are going to place one single crochet around. So we have 32 stitches in the round right now. So for rows 6 through 11, we're going to single crochet 32. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So just complete that for rows 6 through 11, and I will complete this off camera. And I'll meet you back here for row 12. So that is what we're looking like after rows 6 through 11 are completed. Now for row 12, we're going to do the combination single crochet, single crochet 6 and a decrease stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, and then I like to do invisible decreases. So how you do that is you're gonna just grab the front loop of one stitch, and then the front loop of the next stitch, yarn over, pull through those two loops, yarn over and pull through. Now we're gonna repeat this four times for a total stitch count of 28 at the end of this row. Three, four, five, six, and a decrease. Two, three, four, five, six, and a decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, decrease. Now for row 13, we're just going to place 28 single crochets around. So one, two, three, four, five. I will complete this row off camera and I'll meet you back here for row 14. All right, for row 14, we're going to do the combination single crochet five and a decrease stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. One, two, three, four, five, and a decrease. One, two, three, four, five. Decrease one, two, three, four, five, decrease. Now moving on to row fifteen through twenty, 
So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, so six rows. We're gonna place one single crochet in each stitch around for our 24 stitches. So single crochet 24 for those six rounds. I will complete rows 15 through 20 off camera and I will meet you back here for the next step. All right, so once we are finished up to row 20, we are going to now stuff the body and place the eyes. Now you can place the eyes before you stuff um, or you can do it after, it doesn't really matter. Um, I sometimes like to stuff before just to get the shape, but with this, um, basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna place the eyes um, and we just wanna make sure that we have six stitches in between. So you don't necessarily need to stuff first. So for the eye placement, we are gonna place the eyes on rows nine and 10. So just counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So nine and 10, so I'm just gonna place one here just to, and I'm using 16 millimeter eyes. Now we want to have six stitches in between. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll probably just place this one right here for now. Because they're going to be pulled in a little bit. So we still want six stitches even when they're pulled in a little bit. And there's no front or back to this, so you could literally put the eyes anywhere on the body, it does not matter. So that's kind of what we're looking like right now. Now once you have the positioning that you like for your eyes, um, we can attach them to the body. So I'm just gonna place my backings on here. like that. And I'll do the same to the other side. All right, so I just put the backings on both uh, eyes. And this is what we're looking like right now. Now I'm just gonna take some fiber fill and I'm gonna start stuffing my squid body. Now I like to put some stuffing in and then I just like to kind of bring it out to the sides a little bit just to make sure that all the corners are filled and it's filled evenly. I'm do that the same on the top here and just stuff some more in the center there. And we can stuff more as we go, so it doesn't have to be your final stuffed product. Um, we can add some or remove some as we go. So once we are done stuffing, we are gonna move on to row 21. All right, so once we have placed our eyes and stuffed the beginning part of our body, we're gonna move on to row 21 of the body. Now for row 21, we are going to do the combination single crochet four and a decrease stitch. Oopsies. So one, two, three, four, and a decrease. One, two, three, four, and a decrease. And we're gonna complete this four times and our stitch count at the end of this row should be 20. One, two, three, four, decrease. And one last time here. One, two, three, 
or decrease. All right, for row 22, we're going to place 20 single crochets all the way around. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Just like that. Next, we're going to do the combination single crochet three decrease. So one, two, three, and a decrease. And again, we're going to repeat this four times for a total of 16 stitches at the end of this row. One, two, three. Decrease one, two, three, decrease one, two, three, decrease. And that is row 23. Now row 24, we're going to just crochet, single crochet, 16 around. So one single crochet in each stitch around. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Row twenty five is going to be the combination single crochet two and decrease. One, two, decrease. Once again, we're going to do this four times for a total stitch count of 12 at the end of this row. Now before we move on to row 26, I'm just going to stuff again. You can also stuff after um, row 25, um, or 24, sorry, if uh, you prefer that. I say stuffing every two to three rows is kind of um, what I try and do. And once we have stuffed to where we want it to be, we'll move on to row 26, where we're just going to place 12 single crochets around.
Now for our last row, we're going to do a combination single crochet and decrease. We're going to repeat that four times for a final stitch count of eight at the end of this row. Decrease, single crochet, decrease. One more. All right, and that is the last row of our body. So I'm just going to remove my stitch marker and I'm going to take some more fiber fill and I'm just going to stuff it in this top piece here before we close up this hole. like that. Just take my scissors and I'm just going to cut that and then usually what I like to do is I'm just going to make a little slip stitch to this next stitch here, pull through and then yarn over and pull through again to create a little knot. And then what I like to do is I like to just grab a crochet hook smaller than the one I'm currently using. So this is a 3.75 and I'm basically just going to gather the last eight stitches but I'm only going to gather the front loop of the last eight stitches and I'm just going to yarn over and pull my yarn tail through those loops for all eight stitches. And then once we have that completed, we'll just pull our yarn tail. And then I just like to pull this through and make a little knot just to close up that hole there. And then I'll just take my smaller hook and weave in my end. And then I just like to push my yeah, stuffing around just to make sure I have the shape that I want. And there you have our head and the rest of our body here completed. Now moving on, we're going to take our black medium weight yarn and a darning needle. And we're just going to shape the face and put the smile on. Um, so how I like to shape my face is basically I just want to stick my darning needle in the top corner of the eye here, just right here. I'm going to push that through to the exact same spot on the other eye and you just want to get as close to the eye as possible. Then I'm just going to now put my needle down to the bottom inner corner of the eye and I'm just going to push that through down to the underside of our squid. I'm just going to repeat that second step on the other eye as well. And I'm going to put it through the same hole. Now you're just going to basically pull your yarn until you get the shape that you want. What it's going to do is just bring your eyes in ever so slightly until you have the shape that you want. And then once you do have that shape, you're just going to tie a knot. And 
and I'll just cut my yarn ends. And then I'm just going to weave in my ends here. Just like that. Now to place a smile, again, I'm gonna take my medium weight yarn and a darning needle. And basically, I'm just going to insert my hook here, my needle. And I wanna be kind of one-ish stitches from the eye and one row down. And then I'm going to put my needle again on the other side in the same spot. And I'm gonna push it down two rows and centered with this line. Pull that through. And then I'm gonna just stick my needle underneath and I'm gonna pull that down to make the smile. Then I'm gonna insert it right back into that same hole and put it out the same hole that I started with. And then I'm just gonna tie a very light knot. You don't wanna tie it too tight or else you'll change the shape of your smile. And then again, I'm just going to weave in those ends. And there is our smile and our eyes and face shaping completed. All right, so the next step is gonna to be to place the little fin on the top that goes all the way around. Now, how I like to do this first is to start off with my fabric pins. And I just first want to mark where I want the top to sit. Now you kind of want it, you want it to be on the top row, but you want it to be more in the front on the top row, kind of like this. So not necessarily centered right in the middle. Um, you want it on the front of the head more. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be placing stitches all the way up from rows 17 to 27 and then back down to row 17 again. So the second pin that I like to place is the one where we're gonna start. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 17 is right here. So I want to place my needle, my, uh, dart, my fabric pin right there. And then we're gonna do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Kind of like that. Now I'm gonna bring mine up just a tad because I do want it to be more in the front than in the back. And just play with it until you get it exactly where you want it. So kind of like that. Now we're going to be placing stitches in every row up to the top. So you can either place your needle in every stitch along the top, kind of like this, until it meets your top uh, needle. Or you can just place like a couple every few rows if that makes it easier for you. But I kind of like to visualize because you want this to be as straight as possible. And then we'll just remove these as we work up our work here. So there's our one side completed and it meets up with our top needle here and so we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side.
kind of like that. And those that's where our spine is going to be here, our fin. So once you have placed all of your needles and um, pins that you want, what we're going to do is we're going to take a smaller sized hook. Um, the only reason because uh, the only reason being is because um, we're going to be working into these stitches here and I just find it's easier to get in with a smaller sized hook. So to begin, we're going to make a slip knot. Now the first stitch we're going to be making is a triple crochet. And now we're going to be doing kind of a standing triple crochet. Instead of inserting our hook and um, chaining three, we're going to just do our triple crochet right away. So in, in order to do that, what we're going to do is I'm going to have my chain or my slip knot here on my hook and I'm going to yarn over twice. Now make sure you hold the end of your work here or else it will just unravel because there's nothing holding it there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook into that row right there where we're creating our first triple crochet. And I'm just going to take that needle out now. Now this first stitch is going to be the most difficult, but then it will get easier. So we're going to yarn over and pull through and you should have four loops on your hook like you would for a triple crochet. You're going to yarn over, pull through two, and see if we let go of this, it just unwinds. So we're going to yarn over again, pull through, two and then we're going to yarn over and pull through two just like that now it can be a little bit difficult so just take your time um, if your piece is unraveling like mine was um, just keep pulling it back over so that you have your loops to pull through so there's one triple crochet now we're going to do our second triple crochet so we're going to yarn over twice again and now we're going to go into this next stitch right here where our black, my black pin is. Take that pin out, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And there's two. We're going to do one more. So yarn over twice, insert, and remove that pin, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there's our three triple crochets. Next we're going to go and do three double crochets in the next three rows. So we're just going to yarn over once and we're going to insert our hook into where the green pin is. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. We're going to do another one. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now we're going to do one more right here. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So there is our side fin so far. Next, we're going to do two half double crochets. So we're going to yarn over and insert. I already took the pin out for this one. Yarn over, oopsies. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So that's two half double crochets. Now we're going to do six single crochets. So we're going to do one, two, three, and then back down the other side again. So 
one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, just like that. Now we're going to do the same thing down this way that we did um, up this way, but we're going to just do it opposite. So now we're going to do the two half double crochets first. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, three. We need one more. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, three. Now three double crochets. One more. And then we're going to final, uh, we're going to end off with our three triple crochets. Two. And one more. Just like that. And those are our side fins. Now I'm just going to cut my yarn here. And I'm just going to yarn over and pull through to create a little knot there. Now with uh, our darning needle here, we're going to weave in these ends. Um, so what I like to do is I just like to weave down this post here that we just made, but you have to be really, really careful to not pull too hard because you don't want to affect the shape of your post. So I'm just pulling up as I do this and then at the very base of that post, I'm just going to create a little knot. I'm going to pull, but I'm pulling this piece as well so it's not going to pull it down. Then I'm just going to push this into the back here and I'm just going to repeat that on the other side. So just going to weave this down the post and then make a little knot at the base ensuring that it's not affecting the shape and then push that through to over here just like that and then I'm just going to tie a very light knot here and then I'll take my hook and I'll just weave in my yarn ends And there is our top fin completed. All right, so next we're going to create our tentacles and they're going to sit on the bottom of our um, amakirimi here. So we're going to be working into row four of the bottom here of our stuffy. So to begin, again, I like to use a smaller hook because we're going to be working directly into these stitches. So 
you use whatever hook you want. If you want to continue to use the 5.5 millimeter hook that you used for the body, you absolutely can do that. I'm just going to use my smaller hook um, and I'm just going to make my slip knot here. And now to begin, I like to just start on the side of the body and I'm going to just count four rows up. One, two, three, four. So into this fourth row here, I'm going to insert my hook into any stitch, doesn't, doesn't matter which one. I'm going to yarn over and I'm just going to make a slip knot here so that I'm attached to the base. Now to start the tentacle, what we're going to do is we're going to chain 22. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Now we have our 22 chains and it should look something like this. Now we're gonna work back down the chain to create our tentacle. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna skip the first two stitches, the first two chains, sorry. And we're going to yarn over and into the third chain we're gonna place two double crochets. One, and two. Now because we skipped the first two chains we only have 20 chains to um, place our stitches into. So the pattern for these tentacles is for the first 10 chains we're going to do the combination two double crochet in the first stitch and one double crochet in the second stitch. Then for the last 10 chains we're just going to place one double crochet in each stitch along. So that's um, chain number one, we just placed two double crochets, so now we're going to place one, and that is uh, chain number two. So chain number three, we're going to place two double crochets, then in chain four, we're going to place one. In chain five, we're going to place two again. And then in chain six, we're going to place one. In chain seven, we're going to place two. One, two. In chain eight, we're going to place one. In chain nine, we're going to place two. And then in chain 10, we're going to place one. And that's just going to create a really gentle curl here at the end. Now we're going to place one double crochet in each of the 10 remaining chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So once we've completed our first tentacle, what we're going to do is we're going to look at where we're attached, which is right here. And we're going to skip two stitches and into the third stitch we're going to place a slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and pull through. 
and that is going to attach your tentacle to the body, just like that. And there's our first tentacle completed. Now from here, we're going to, again, chain 22. And we're going to do the exact same thing for every single tentacle around. Two, three, four, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22. So we're going to skip the first two and we're going to go into that third chain with two double crochets. That's number one. Number two with one double crochet. Number three with two. So all the odd numbered chains, we're going to place two double crochets. Four has one. Number five again, we're at two. Number six has one. Seven has two. Eight has three, or er, has one, sorry. Nine has two. And ten has one. And your little tentacle here may need a little help with the curl um, to get it into that curl position. Now we're going to place ten double crochets along the final ten chains. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. So that's the second tentacle complete. Again, we're going to look at where we're at right now, which is right here. We're going to skip two stitches and we're going to insert into the third yarn over and make a slip stitch and we're going to chain 22 for the next tentacle. So you're going to complete eight total tentacles. I will complete these off camera and I will meet you back here. Just keep in mind because this works in a spiral your row four is going to eventually move up to a row five depending on where you placed your hook at the very beginning. So just always ensure, so for me, when I'm over here, now it's going to be row five that I'm going to be going into. So usually when I reach that point, I just go down a row to make sure I'm still on row four so that it all matches, if that makes any sense at all. I'll show you when I get to that point how that works, okay? So just complete um, your tentacles along and I will meet you back here. All right, so I've just finished my sixth tentacle and I kind of just wanted to explain here what I was talking about before. So I'm in this row right here and I need to put my um, stitch about here, but that will make it row five, one, two, three, four, five. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna go down a row back into row four here and I'm gonna go over two and I'm gonna insert my hook here so I'm still in row four. So that way it's going to line up with when I reach back here at my other tentacle. You're gonna have like a little um, bit of a downward 
uh, slope here to this one tentacle, but you're not going to notice it. Um, so I'm just going to finish my last two tentacles here and I will meet you back here when you're completed all eight. Alright, so I'm at my last tentacle here and I'm just going to secure it off into the same stitch here that I started with. And I'm just going to make a slip knot. Now I'm going to just cut my yarn. You don't need a long uh, tail here. And I'm just going to yarn over and pull that through just like that. So there's our tentacles. So now with these yarn ends, I'm just going to place a knot here and that's just for extra security. And then I'm just going to cut these a little shorter and just take my hook and I'm just going to weave those yarn tails in. And there is our eight tentacles. Now the very last thing we want to do is we want to complete our long tentacles in the center. So there's going to be two of these and we're going to place them on row two of our body. And I like to place them like, so here are the eyes right here. I want to place them kind of parallel to the eyes on the underneath of the body here. So we're going to start off with a slip knot again. And again, we're just going to, in the second row here, insert our hook and place a slip stitch, just like that. So we're attached to row two, kind of parallel with where the eye is. Now for these tentacles, they're going to be a little bit longer. So we're going to start off with a chain 27. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, 24, 25, 26, 27. So once we have our 27 chains, what we're going to do first is we're going to skip the first chain. Into the second chain, I'm going to place one half double crochet. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, and we're going to yarn over and pull through all three. Next, in the next chain over, we're going to place a double crochet. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. In the next three chains, we're going to place a treble crochet. So yarn over twice, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That's one. two, and three. In the next chain, we're going to place one double crochet. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And then in the next stitch over, we're gonna place a half double crochet. So yarn over and pull through all three. And now for the next 19 chains, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch. So we're basically single crocheting 19. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Find these stitches at the very end are the hardest to get into. 18 and then one more. 19. And then we're just going to slip stitch right back into that same stitch we started. Make a slip stitch. Now we're going to cut our yarn here. And then just yarn over and pull through. And there is one of our long tentacles completed. So now we just need to do one more the exact same way. We're just going to do a slip stitch to this row over here now. So now just parallel to where we started here with this one onto row two over here. Just place a slip stitch. And we're going to chain 27 again. So 27 chains, we're going to skip the first stitch, place a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook, a double crochet is next, then three triple crochets, so one, Two, three, a double in the next stitch, a half double crochet in the next, and then we'll single crochet 19 to finish. And then we're just going to do our slip stitch into the same spot again. Just cut our yarn and pull that through. Now with our yarn tails, I just like to do one more knot on each of them before we weave in the ends here. And just cut that. And then I'm just going to weave these in. And there is our final two tentacles completed. And there is our squid finished. I hope this tutorial was helpful and I hope you really enjoy your finished squid. Please let us know in the comments down below how you liked the tutorial and if there's any other um, amigurumi tutorials you're looking to see. Please subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!